you going? I figured we could use some privacy. What's wrong? Um, uh, I think this was maybe, this was a bad idea. I don't know if I should have brought you here. No, it's fine. It's been fun. I've had a nice time. You, know, you laugh, watch you smile. What's going on? Well, it's, not, it's nothing you did. I just, um... Uh, when I moved into the quarter mains, I was in love with uh, Tracy's son, Dylan. And um, he was in love with Georgie. But I wanted him for myself, so um, I convinced him that Georgie was sleeping with somebody else. And um, I was there to pick up the pieces. This is where it happened. Um, I lost my virginity to him, and um, actually, I got pregnant. My parents, they had this incredible once in a lifetime kind of love. I mean, you could see it when they looked at each other, and I just, I wanted to know what that felt like, you know, to, to be loved so intensely that it, it filled your whole heart. So I, I tricked Dylan into sleeping with me. I mean, talk about selfish. I, I blew Dylan's entire life apart, knowing full well that he was in love with somebody else. Look, it's understandable you got caught up. Okay? Your whole life you've been told about love and what it can do, how it changes people, makes people happier. Why wouldn't you want it for yourself? Have you wanted something that badly? I never wanted to fall in love. When I saw what love do what it did to my father, how he loved my mother to the point of obsession, you know? After she died, I guess I made a subconscious choice not to feel, I don't know, to stay numb inside so nothing could affect me, and it worked. Until the night I picked you up, that all changed. stand by and watch you literally get into bed with the mob. You're not going to make the same mistakes I made. You keep this up much longer and they're going to elope, and then you're going to wind up with John Zakar as your son-in-law. Step-son-in-law. Her brother's back, isn't he? Yeah, Alan only seems to show up when Tracy's having a crisis of conscience. He must think she's being ridiculous. Do you think I can't hear you? Look, we listened to what you had to say, but what Johnny and I do is our business. Lulu, I'm perfectly willing to back off. If you can, promise me. She's in no danger because of you. I never lied to Lulu about who I am. She knows the life I lead is dangerous and made the choice to be with me anyway. Let's go. Well, gossip obviously didn't work. What else you got? Couldn't you just please go away? You know, the guy obviously has some backbone. Lulu could definitely do worse. I don't remember you being quite so resigned when Emily ran off with Xander Smith, a known felon, or when Jason ran off to do Sonny's bidding. My heart broke for my kids, and I handled it all wrong, just like you are now. But you said your piece, Tracy. Maybe it'll have some impact. Just let them think about it for a while. Okay. Bye, Tracy. stepmother for being worried about you any more than i can argue with what she said to us or her dead brother okay, the point is she was right there are no guarantees there to be safe. are no guarantees period i could get hit by a bus tomorrow crossing the street or you could get hit by a bullet by standing next to me what happened to michael was an accident bullet ricocheted only you can decide if you want to take that risk. i have made my decision hey then i'm done trying to change good because i'm not gonna let anything come between us again <sighs> I guess we all have the same idea.